Hey everybody, it's Raphael from XX Raphael Productions and for today's iMovie tutorial I'm going to show you how to deal with transitions in your video projects and specifically the different types of transitions and also the length of the transition, alright? So let's go ahead and show you in my finder um, here the types of videos I'll be using. So I simply only have two clips here that are completely unrelated to each other but they'll be useful enough to show you as an example. And this picture that I have here, I will show you in another example, but that's later in the video. So before we begin though, I'm going to go in and emphasize something important. And this is only if you want to change the length of your transition, but please make sure that the clip is long enough to cover the length of your transition. So I just, I just want to get that out of the way before we proceed, all right? So let's go ahead and drag in um, your um, personal clips. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and drag in the New York clip that I got online where it's simply somebody driving around New York City. So first thing I'm going to do is remove my volume because I don't want volume for this example. But obviously, your um, video might be different from mine. And if so, go ahead and leave your volume on or make it as loud as you want to really. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and let's see, I'm going to go ahead and crop this video to maybe 25 seconds so i'm gonna go drag in my second clip so drag in my background and like i said before this picture will be used in another example so don't worry about that for now all right so now this video here is simply just a bunch of you know it could be a nice background for another video but i'm gonna go ahead and also crop this since i don't want it to be that long so this is 13 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and delete the excess junk. All right. So here, let's go ahead and click play. All right. So here we want a transition. So let's go ahead and head over to this bar over here and click transitions. And now let's go ahead and drag in a simple circle open. So hold and click and drag that in between the clips. So now if I go ahead and play it again, you can see that the video has transitioned using that effect. And now this is only if you want to actually affect the length. So like if I go in and zoom in here, you can see that it's just 1.0 seconds. All right. That's the length of this transition. Now let's go ahead and double click this. And now we can actually change the duration. So let's try two seconds. Now this might not always work. So if you like, let's go ahead and set it to two seconds, right? And click apply. Now, if you get this problem that says the clips do not have enough media available, don't panic. Just simply click OK. And so to fix that particular issue, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom in just to be more precise. I'm going to right click the square and I'm going to go ahead and go down to show precision editor. So once you click that, you will see that there is, we can manipulate this. So I'm going to go ahead and click this over here, this rectangle. And now here we can actually manipulate the length of our transition. And as I was saying in the beginning of the video, if your video is long enough to cover that length, then feel free to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and probably do it like this. And now if I click close precision editor, I'm going to put my mouse over this again. And you can see that my transition is now 9.4 seconds. All right. So if that's too long for you, simply go back to the precision editor and we can make that much shorter. So let's go in and put that down. Now click close. And now that should be 2.9 seconds, all right? So let's go ahead and play. Now, as you notice, my transition is longer by a couple seconds. Now, if I were to make that even longer, just to make it make the um, changes more visible for you, let's just go ahead and put that back to earlier click close precision and now I've made my transition about 4.5 seconds as you can see over here so I'm gonna go ahead and play that right now so yeah as you can see that took about four seconds until it transitioned to the next clip so now you can do this for any other transition I simply happen to pick the circle open but just as long as you have other like transitions that you that you dragged in and customized, you should have a similar effect, all right? Like in regards to the transition time and also 
the way the video transitions from the one clip to the other clip now like i did promise earlier i would also show you the picture so let me go in and let's see i'm gonna go in and delete this video right now well, actually no no i'm gonna go ahead and show you by just simply dragging in the picture after this clip all right so let's make this uh let's me maybe let me do it six seconds long all right so this is simply a picture of um earth 2 from the flash and i don't really it's not really related to the other two videos but like i said before instead of only showing you examples from video clips i will also show you examples from pictures so you go ahead and click play now it is simply a boring transition so i'm gonna go ahead and drag in let's do a spin in this time so i'm gonna cl um, hold click and drag that in now this is only a one second transition i'm going to make that longer by um right clicking again on this and then going to show precision editor and then here i can again do the same thing i'm going to make that longer by a couple seconds so always make sure you're doing the middle rectangle and then click close precision editor and now you can see that my transition is actually 7.2 seconds and let's demonstrate i'm gonna zoom in right now you can see that it is taking quite a while but it does work so yeah that is how you deal with transitions in your iMovie project so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next um tutorial Raphael out